Hey guys, my name is Carla and this is my third video diary and we were looking at First Nations. Um, they are a group of indigenous cultures around the world and they've been on a particular land for many, many generations. So they have a really strong connection to that land. And in Australia, we do have indigenous Australians and I found it really interesting because we are pretty diverse with our cultures, but even I think myself and many other Australians out there, we normally think of Indigenous Australians as one group of Australians, but really there's about 250 different languages and cultures of Indigenous Australians here in Australia. And out of that, only about 13 are required for children to learn at schools. So I think there should be a change for students to really push for the need to learn at schools. Um, and they can learn how our land was inhabited and they can have a, um, how they have a strong connection to our land because the real core of Australia is our Indigenous Australians as they've been here for many, many generations before we have. And it's scary to think that these languages are almost becoming extinct now. And we looked at Uluru and how it was officially closed last year and the traditional owners of the land, who were the Indigenous Australians, they'd been lobbying for a long time for it to be closed, to stop people climbing. Um, it was a major tourist attraction, and this decision made was really important because First Nations actually had a say with what was happening with their tourist attraction, and they had a big role with the decision-making um, with the Uluru, and how they are building an inclusive, sustainable, I guess model for tourism so other tourist spots around the world can look at how the First Nations of Australia made a big deal with the decision making. Then we were applying Hofstede's cultural dimensions to the Indigenous culture and with Australia um, it's quite sad to see how many Indigenous Australians are suffering from like poor health conditions and poverty and living conditions as well are really bad and they might not have the same support to health services that we might have especially if they're out in rural Australia so it's it's important to understand the model and how effectively we can communicate with them and engage with them so their needs can be met especially for those in rural Australia and if we can learn about their culture and support those who are suffering in harder times, we can avoid the discrimination that is out there and overall learn how important their Indigenous culture is to our knowledge um, with how the land we now live on was inhabited and how we are living here today.